want, I want you to give a big applause for another first time. We're so happy to have her here. Big applause for Anfio! Oh, she looks so much better than I could ever have. So now you know the t-shirt. Thank you. Now, I was already nervous, but now I'm stuck with that labia picture. And I have no idea how I'm going to rock this. So, hello, uh, my name is Anfi. I am super happy to be here. It's my very first time on PCCC. And I am especially excited because I get to talk about my favorite subject, fashion. As you can imagine, I've put a lot of thought into my outfit tonight. Yeah. Because as much as I obviously enjoy being the center of attention, I also get shy. Yeah. I um, would describe myself as a shy extrovert. Are there any other shy extroverts here tonight? Yeah? Of course, it's family. That's why I wanted to come here. Okay, so for all the others, um, let me try and break down the shy extrovert experience for you, okay? So imagine you are very observing, yeah? Every little vibe, every tension, every little look, any ever so slight shift of energy in the room, you take it all in. You soak it up like a sponge. There is a tiny little scientist living inside your head with a huge whiteboard, writing everything down. Going, uh-huh, person in the first row, holding onto her phone, nodding her head. Well, that can't be a coincidence. Just let me get that real quick, yeah? Going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, writing everything down into a huge equation of fuck knows what. So, naturally, you're quite anxious of social interaction because they mean work. Yeah. On the other hand, you want to talk <laughs> to everyone <laughs> about anything <laughs> all the time making your little scientist go vroom, 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 always yanking your body forwards, pulling it back again, going <gasps> You know, it's like going 160 kilometers per hour on the autobahn, but with the handbrakes on. <laughs> full speed and full control. <laughs> the best of both worlds, right? I wouldn't know, I don't have a driver's license. <laughs> now, fashion. When it comes to fashion, I have a simple taste. I like everything. <laughs> yeah, my approach to style is very similar to my approach to desserts on a buffet. Just give me all you have. <laughs> don't say my plate is too small, just stack it on top of each other and make it work, yeah? I like colors, I like things that are shiny, glittery, leoprinty, fringe sequins with flowers on them. I like paillettes, I like old things, new things, borrowed things, French uh, thrift shop things, hand-me-downs, found in the streets. I like everything. But there's this common misconception about people who will dress that way, that we want to talk about our outfits. Yeah, yeah, the uh, flamboyancy is read as an invitation. And that's a huge misunderstanding because if you look at the realm of animals, bright colors are actually a warning. <laughs> like from a poisonous frog, right?
like from a poisonous frog or uh, this fly, you know, which through evolution has developed into looking more like a bee to keep possible predators from walking up to it and holding small talk. <laughs> so uh, what I'm trying to say is that this situation here is actually a warning <laughs> that I am a very self-confident person. So do not challenge me on that. <laughs> Please. <laughs> because if you do, there is a slight chance that I'll overshare. <laughs> It stems from an obligation to tell the whole story, really, you know, because leaving any of it out would be like lying, right? I mean, I've, I've been collecting all this data. I need to share it for science. And that's why the answer to nice shirt can never be just thank you, no, 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 but rather, ooh, yeah, that, you know, it is nice, but it's a bit too tight and it gets super sweaty. Actually, I think I'm starting to smell. Do I smell that? so important to know how to take a compliment. <laughs> but they're so hard to recognize, right? It's tricky, especially when you've been raised as a girl, especially a millennial girl, because, you know, the compliments we used to get were more likely being, I don't know, veiled criticisms, like, you're getting really good at that, honey. <laughs> now, once you learn how to do it faster, you might actually stand a chance. Why don't you try doing more than one thing at a time, huh? It's called multitasking. You're a girl, you'll get the hang of it. Or expectations. You are so smart, you'll do something great with your life. You can become anything you want. Or, of course, your occasional insultiment from a cishet male aiming at lowering your self-esteem in order to ease you in into the transactional part where you will then have sex with him because he told you you are beautiful. <laughs> What's up with that? I mean, and catcallers, right? Like, what reaction do they expect? Because I think we should give it to them. Yeah, you know, next time a random stranger just yells after you in the street, hey, you're beautiful. Try this. <laughs> Me? all the plans I made for today real quick, yeah? And let's do it, Steve. Right here, right now. From bum, brr, ah. <laughs> Honestly, though, I do think we should wear less clothes in our everyday lives. Because I think a lot of problems related to fashion could be solved if we just eliminated clothing. <laughs> Hear me out. I work, uh, I live in Berlin, and I work at a nightclub, a queer nightclub, it's called Schwutz. Does anyone know it, yeah? yeah. Woo, Schwutz, okay. Uh, what, what, what evenings have you been to? What kind of music did you play? 
pop. Yeah, it's a lot of pop. It's a lot of pop. Now, if you want to hear something else than pop, I've got something for you. Yeah, no, no, I'm sorry. We're going down that road. Um, so every two months on a Sunday, they have a very special party. It's called Schlagernackt Party. <laughs> and it is exactly what you're imagining right now. <laughs> the only music played is German Schlager. And the dress code is strictly naked. <laughs> Except for shoes, of course, and socks, because otherwise that'll just look silly. <laughs> um, and then, of course, you get to have your adornments, right? You get to have your nipple piercings, your cock rings, your harnesses. Now, since we're big on confessions tonight, I've got one myself. I've always considered myself a cool person. <laughs> That's not the confession yet. Uh, uh, you know, even somewhat experienced person. But when I did my first shift there, I was shocked. Just how many Schlager songs I knew by heart. I knew the lyrics so well I could sing along. <laughs> and I did. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I guess there's some things you don't find out about yourself until it's too late. Well. <clears throat> but on a lighter note, what I wanted to say is uh, it's a good safe space to be naked in. And I think we need more safe spaces to be naked in. Like, you know, the sauna could be one. Because in the sauna, it's kind of okay to be naked as long as we're all naked. Because then we're all in on the same dirty secret that underneath our clothes, underneath all the layers, underneath the underwear, we've been naked this whole time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Person in the second row nodding, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I bet you're naked under your underwear right now. <laughs> but don't worry, your secret's safe with me. It's okay, we're all naked under on the way, except for Denise, and we all know the reason why. <laughs> but even there, even in the fucking sauna, it can happen to you that some cishet male genius thinks this is the perfect time and space to uh, make a pass at you, likely with an elaborate line like, so you like it hot? <laughs> really? Steve? <laughs> you think that's a good pickup line? You know, I serve drinks to naked people dancing and occasionally shagging to German Schlager. You consecrate my holy fucking naked sacred safe space and think this will impress me? A sea of cock rings swaying to the sounds of Helene Fischer is what I call a Sunday night. maintain eye contact with a person being penetrated against my bar and advise them on what drink might go well with that? <laughs> How about that for multitasking, huh? Where do I write that on my CV? So you take all of that anger and frustration at the male gaze and how every cishet male out there thinks they can comment on your body and you take it and you bottle it up deep in and you go away because you have that thing in the evening and you take and put together the 
flashiest, fanciest, brightest outfit you can think of so no one will there fuck with you. And you go there and you see a person and they look at you and you look at them and you think, oh my God, they're cool and attractive. <laughs> and they walk up to you and you're starting to feel the after sweat from the sauna settling in. <laughs> and they say hi. <laughs> and you say hi. <laughs> and you navigate small talk. You're doing well, you look fancy, still in time. <laughs> and then they say, nice shirt. And you just bite your tongue, praying to the little scientist inside your head, please don't let me talk about my sweat stains, please don't let me talk about my sweat stains, please don't let me talk about my sweat stains. And they go, are you okay? <laughs> and you're like, well, I've got these massive insecurity problems, probably from the time I've been bullied at school, but there's also a lot of unresolved childhood trauma. You know, my inner child's basically taking me hostage. I've got this thing called recidiva in the depression, you know, mental health, it's a journey, right? I still haven't come quite to terms with my queer, not queer, not queer, not identity. And I think I might have ADHD. One of the indicators would be how my regular drug abuse doesn't really seem to affect my... You were just giving me a compliment. <laughs> Smell my armpits? Thank you so, so much. <laughs>